And we find ourselves at the stadium that played host to Super Bowl 52, the wondrous U.S. Bank Stadium in Minneapolis. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it, this crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Green Bay Packers and the Minnesota Vikings. We play to win. Let's go. Now the man from UTEP, this is Aaron Jones. And he's not even able to get back to the line of scrimmage. And there's also a flag down, and it's in the area of holding. Now they face a second and long following the holding penalty. Shotgun now for Rodgers. And incomplete to open things up. Devontae Adams, the intended receiver, and it's third down. Looked like he had a couple of different options as far as who to throw to on that play. And who am I to say this, but I'm not sure he made the right decision. Well, the window of opportunity is always going to be small in the NFL. That's why those quarterbacks who make quick decisions and have quick releases have the most success in this league. A little trouble thus far on their opening drive as they come up on a third and 11. Off the play fake to Jones. Here's Rodgers going for the deep ball. And that's caught inside the 35. Touchdown, Packers! Equinemia St. Brown, 76 yards, as his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. Well, that's how they envisioned to get the football to start the game and score it. And I don't know if that was scripted, was it an audible, or was it just a play call that they had in their pocket? No matter what, they had the right call on against the right defense, and they end up in the end zone. This is taken about seven yards deep. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Cousins and the Vikings with a first and ten at their 25-yard line. To throw is Cousins. Into a double team and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 35. And into the end zone, it's a pick six and a Packer touchdown. We thought this defense would be opportunistic, and they were. Here, you're already up. Now you got a two-touchdown lead. I tell you, going out there on defense, did they have a little bit of extra momentum with a score already on the board? Oh, without a doubt. That already felt good to them. They took it and used it and obviously put up another one. But here's the thing now. Some defense coordinators might want to pull their guys back a little bit because they don't want them to make mistakes because they're too over -amped. Others say, I've got two touchdown lead. Go get them, guys. They'll be even more aggressive. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of the teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game, and typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early, probably not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense on this drive. Anything, at least three points get that zero off the board. Packer pressure, and down he goes. Preston Smith comes in for the sack. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. Escaping the pressure right. And a big play there on second down, but we do have a flag on the field. This is in the area where it might be coming back. So a decent gain, but all for naught on the penalty. That's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. The only people celebrating, the guys who just gave up that play. They'll come up now on a second and long after the hold. Yellow, yellow, yellow. Now Cousins. It's complete to Diggs. 
And down he goes at the 49, a three-yard pickup. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. I think defensively, you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. So following the holding call, what can they do here on third and long? From the gun, here's Cousins. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down. So hang on, a big call coming on third down. Thought they were going to force a fourth down. Instead, P.I. gives them the first. And that's frustrating because you think you've taken them really deep into the count, haven't you? Instead, you've got to start all over. That could really, really be demoralizing. The first carry now for Dalvin Cook. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. Now on second and 13, Cousins. And the pressure too much that time as Cousins goes down. Dean Lowry. It'll go as a loss of about eight as he gets in there to drop him. So now after the sack, Cousins and the Vikings come up here third and long. Third and long for Cousins. He'll rifle this one deep right side. And that'll be incomplete. Now they took their shot all right, but it comes up empty. And it's fourth down. Well, that certainly looked like something that they discussed all week in practice getting ready for this one. Take the big shot right out of the gate. At worst, you'll open up the defense a little bit, loosen them up, have them back on their heels. And problems spreading to the punt team now. This one goes all the way into the end zone on the fly, so that'll come back to the 20. Rodgers will break the huddle and bring the pack up first and 10 at the 20. They'll start the drive with a carry by Jones. And he's going to lose yardage here, back to his own 18. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. The opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Working from the gun, Rodgers. They'll get this one to the Golden Domer, St. Brown. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. It's a nice completion, a little bit of run after catch as well to create the yardage that they got. But it is so tough to cover that route, the drag route, because they run it at varying speeds because the key is to create hesitancy on the defender's part. Always so empathetic for those DBs, aren't you? And able to find Graham, complete. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. Two former All-Pros connecting. Rodgers fighting his tight end, Graham. Packer first down. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. From the gun, it's Rodgers. He gets this to Devontae Adams. 25 yards that time. From Viking territory now, they'll come up first and 10 at the 38. Now a draw play, this is Jones. A solid run on first down, gain of seven, leaves him with a second and three. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football, partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? Check, 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 check. Kill, 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 kill. Kill, kill. They fake the give. Now Rodgers. 
And that'll be caught by St. Brown. That hold coming from the left side of the line. Hands got caught in the cookie jar on that one, and the flag came out. Penalty against him. Now they face a second and long following the holding penalty. Shotgun now for Rodgers. And that's complete to Adams. And this is going to turn into another first down as the tackle is made at the Vikings' 25-yard line. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him, I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. Rodgers will bring him up to the line first and 10, and he's hit on all five of his pass attempts on this drive so far. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. And they're going to lose some on this play. Being knocked back to the 18. So after a rare misstep on this drive, they'll try to make amends on second and 15. Rodgers with a give. It's Aaron Jones. And he'll take this down for about four yards down to the 15. The passing game's been working quite well so far, but the running game's been a little bit of a struggle, and that's a surprise to me. Typically, when you can throw it, you've opened up lanes for your runners. Throwing is Rodgers on third down. Oh, a ball batted in the air, and now it's intercepted. Picked up by the pro bowler, Anthony Barr. And he'll be stopped shy of the 15 at the 14-yard line on the return. That's now his second interception in as many weeks from his linebacker position. And think about all the different techniques he has to employ in a passing situation. Is he spot dropping because it's zone? Is he picking up man-to-man? -man? Is he having to run with a running back or a tight end? In any event, great eyes, head on a swivel, and excellent hands. Yeah, versatility and showing those hands. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Check 15. Check 15. Tighten up. Tighten up. Wide. Wide. Check. Check. A toss to Cook. And not a whole lot to speak of there, so bring him down shy of the 20. They follow up the gain of five by only getting one there on second down. Check 31. Check 31. Throwing. Cousins. And that is incomplete. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? Zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. Fielded at about the 28. 154 left on the clock here in quarter number two. Coming up at halftime, we remind you once again that we're going to check in with Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL as we reach now arguably the halfway point of the season. Time flying. It certainly is. Time to get the sweaters out, my man. Throwing to start the drive, but that went incomplete. He was looking for his running back, Aaron Jones, that time. And that'll bring up second down. Here's Rodgers throwing again. Let's this one rip toward Graham. And that will be incomplete. Try to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. Even without a ton of pressure in his face, it just shows how difficult it is to pick apart his own defense. Those guys are sitting back, and they're not playing receivers as much as they're playing the eyes of the quarterback and when he delivers the ball. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Play action. 
option. Now it's Rodgers. Trying to lay one up deep. And that's caught inside the 30. Touchdown, Packers. Equinemius St. Brown. His second touchdown of the game and his ninth on the year. And the Packers are able to stretch that lead out further. Crosby with the extra point, and that makes the score 21 to zip. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Minnesota offense about ready to get this next drive underway. And some dangerous territory. You're already down three scores. A three and out here or an inability to put any points up. This one might be over by half. Yeah, and what you also have to guard against is calling every play for a big shot downfield. You know, thinking you're going to get all these points back on one drive. You're not. And last time I looked, it's still the first half. I'm not saying you have ultimate patience here. But you also don't have to go ahead and force everything either. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. He came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. So a line of scrimmage still to 39 on second and 10. Go, go. Mike 42. Mike 42, check, check, Mike 42. And we got to get to the Mike Hunter. Cousins. Oh, he got position on him, and he pulls it in. 13 yards as the Vikings pick up the first down. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Some of the fans here don't seem too happy about what we've seen in this first half. No, not at all. And I understand why they look lethargic, out of sync, and it shows on the scoreboard. On second down, Cousins again. Open here, Adam Thielen. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers' 20-yard line. The Vikings going to signal for their first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 25 seconds to go here in half number one. First red zone chance now for the Vikings. First and 10 right at the 20. Cousins. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Well, he'd been targeted quite a bit on this drive. And finally, I think the guys on the defensive side, they said no more. They slapped the double coverage on him. Made it very tough for him to get the ball. Watch the whip. Throwing again, Cousins on second and ten. That'll be complete to Cook. Now the Vikings will use the second of their timeouts as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. Here's the seventh play of this drive. This is third and four. Let's go. Cousins again. And he's able to find Diggs. The Vikings going to use their third and final timeout as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. This is first and goal and a golden chance to get a score back here before halftime. To the air again, it's Cousins. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. He was looking for his tight end there, Kyle Rudolph. But it'll be second and goal. A line of scrimmage once again, the five, as they get ready for second and goal. Check curls, check curls, check curls. They'll throw again. Cousins into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Adrian Amos with a pick. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. Time for a final kneel down or a safe run, and then they can head to the locker room with a lead. Yeah, or they can even run a screen. You know, something they feel somewhat safe 
that might actually pop and turn into a big play, that's what you usually run in this situation. Or go four verticals because why not? Because you're feeling it, right? <laughs> you're just feeling it. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And all that worked, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he's simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. And that first half, one to forget really on both sides of the ball. they got to find some way to string something together here, don't they? Yeah, they're down big right now. So as you mentioned, trying to find something to string together, get some consistency, something sustained, maybe calm their whole team down and find a way to get back in this one. Yeah, because right now you're down big, you're being shut up. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Adrian with a pick and he returns it into enemy territory down to the 45 yard line so now he's equaled his interception total from a week ago remember charles he had three last week and you know all week long he vowed to take that number down told the guys on the team don't worry things are going to pick up i've got this but he is in a major league rut right now and he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes Daniil Hunter in there to drop him for his 11th sack of the year. Chalk that up as their first sack in this game, and they tallied four a week ago. And probably not as much exultation in that sack as what took us so long. Because when you get four the previous week, you're counting on continuing that momentum. They didn't get that done in the first half of the game. Let's see now if they start to bring even more exotic pressure towards the quarterback. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. From midfield, here's Rodgers. Looking deep for Adams. That's caught inside the 20. Give him 30 yards there. I guess that answers the question of whether or not they're going to try to play conservative and protect this lead in the third quarter. And I think this is something we're seeing more and more of in the NFL. Teams not playing to protect leads. Teams playing to extend them. So a big play as it gets them all the way down to the 20 now for first and 10. And he will get this into the end zone. Touchdown, Green Bay. Their mobile quarterback with his first career NFL touchdown. And the Packers are able to stretch that lead out further. Crosby connects on the extra point, and it is 28-0. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Minnesota offense about ready to get this next drive underway. They've got to dig down deep. I mean, they need something right now, really anything to cling on to. This offense has struggled. Partner, join me in a walk to their locker room at the half, okay? Because I think what we would have seen is an offensive coordinator and his, and his assistant coaches getting together with all their positions, then coming together as a group, going over adjustments, and then the head coach coming in and just screaming, wake up. Yeah. Let's get moving, guys. I'm kind of glad we weren't in there at that time, actually. <laughs> I mean, you think you might have turned. It's a foot race. Touchdown, Vikings. Thielen with touchdown number seven on the year. And the Vikings are able to cut into that deficit. Well, if they're going to make a game of this in the second half, they need a few big plays to go their way. That's one. And the way to get it done is to also conserve time. So to your point, that big play right there, now you're not moving the ball downfield, taking time off the clock. You're leaving yourself a better avenue to continue to try and make a comeback. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30 to the 33-yard line. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Harrison Smith. And the return here will go to the 31-yard line. 
Well, they needed a break. They needed to make a play here in the third quarter. Defensively, they did that. Now they got to go quickly and get some points on the board. And the best part is that they made their own break. Taking the ball away. Now they just look at their offense and saying, guys, let's go. Come on, capitalize on this one. Now a play fake here on first down. And he fires one incomplete. Tight end Irv Smith, the intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down. But the passing game right now for them, not overly impressive. Last week he hit on right at 50%. This week he's under 50%. And it's not just on him. Protection, a few breakdowns along the way. That's made him get off the spot. Receivers not getting their way open downfield. The coverage has been awfully tight. They've got to all get together and find ways to make this passing game get in gear. I know, he's easy. Here's Cousins. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off at the 39. Charles, whatever's going on between his ears right now, it's just not completely calculated correctly. Seven picks between last week and this week after that one. And they always say the most important part of a player is those six inches between the ears. But right now, it's all those intercepts. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Green Bay touchdown. Aaron Jones, his fifth touchdown now on the year. And his guys capitalize on the short field as they take it in for six. Extra point up and good by Crosby. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. That'll be taken in the end zone. And the decision to bring it out is going to cost him about seven yards, all told, as he's taken down back shy of the 20. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. They have been struggling. I would imagine at halftime they went through some possible changes. Well, those changes aren't working, so now where do you go? I think that now it's much more in their head. And what I mean by that is, just what you said, you've gone over the changes. I bet they were pretty clinical at the half, not too emotional. They might need to go to the emotional side because you've got to find something, some spark somewhere. And so far, just being calm hasn't exactly worked. They need any spark at this point. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. Tried to go back again to Adam Thielen, but now it'll be third down. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves them staring up here at a third and eight. From the shotgun, it's Cousins. And a flag comes in as that one falls incomplete. Well, let's see who this is on. Well, this home crowd, they're happy with that call. <laughs> I like the way you said happy there, right? The so-called good guys didn't get a call. They feel like it's been that way all afternoon. You feeling their pain? They finally got one. Yes, they did. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Brandon, at least there's one bright side to that incompletion. What's that? It wasn't an interception. Wow. <laughs> you're, you're a nice guy. That was kind of savage. But correct. No, no pick, Tiny just incomplete that time. A second down throw for Cousins. And this is Cook with the grab. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. 